Welcome to the new segment of the grade 10th. We are discussing economics, first chapter, development, exercise part, question answers of development chapter. 10th question is The earth has enough resources to meet the needs of all but not enough to satisfy the greed of even one person so how is how is this statement relevant to the discussion of development discuss this is a question and let's see the answer now this is three mark question the earth has enough resources to meet the needs of all but not enough to satisfy the greed of even one person this statement is relevant to the discussion of development since both resources and development go hand in hand for the sustainability of development the maintenance of resources is also circular as the statement claims the earth has enough resources renewable and non renewable to satisfy everyone's need however these needs to be used with a view to keep the environment protected and clean so that a balance of production and use is maintained and shortages are avoided so this is the answer for the 10th question now let's move for the 11th question 11th question is list a few examples of environmental degradation that you may have observed around you so answer is few examples of environmental degradation that is first one deforestation second one soil erosion third one falling levels of ground water the fourth one deple depletion of the ozone layer and combustion from automobiles causing extreme air pollution and last one water pollution now let's see the 12th question here e for each of the items given in a table 1.6 find out which country is at the top and which is at 
the bottom so this is a table which is given yes now let's see the answer the per capita income in us dollar that is sri lanka top country sri lanka bottom country myanmar and the second one life expectancy at birth the top country sri lanka again bottom country myanmar literacy rate for 15 years population the top country sri lanka bottom country bangladesh gross enrollment ratio for three levels the top country sri lanka bottom country pakistan hdi rank in the world that is a top country sri lanka and bottom country nepal so this is a question and answer now let's move for the 13th question the following table shows the proportion of under under nutrition adult in in india it is based on a survey of various states for the year 2000 one look at the table and answer the following questions the question is like this now let's see the answer the question is first question is compare the nutritional level of people in kerala and madhya pradesh second one can you guess why around 40% of people in the country are under nutrition given through it is argued that there is enough food in the country describe in your own words so here we can take a kerala karnataka madhya pradesh all states Yes. So, as per the calculation, in as per the calculation, it will be differ in some test book, and which I am showing to you. In your test book, it is given twenty two. 
eighty males and female and male in a Karnataka thirty four and new edition it is showing a thirty six and thirty eight females in Madhya Pradesh forty three thirty eight in your test book forty two thirty eight all states thirty seven and forty six in your test book thirty four and thirty three it will be sources from uh, two thousand one and here in your test book it is given year of two thousand five and six it will be differ from test book to another test book if you are referring if you are referring any other um, series so answer should be a change so while writing answer when we are comparing uh, the level of kerala and madhya pradesh so so kerala in kerala we are having a male 22 is that is a percentage wise and and the female it is a how much 19% and under nutrition whereas in a madhya pradesh it is how much in a 43% and male and male how much are there in madhya pradesh the 43 and female 42 are the under nutrition so second question what is that you can guess why around 40% of people in the country are under nutrition even enough it is argued that there is enough food in the country yes so around the answer is around 1/5 of the people in the country are under nutrition even though it is argued that there is enough food in the country it is because a large number of population in our country is poor and living below the poverty line this is this section of population cannot afford to buy food even suitable rates or from a ration shops so these are the question answers of uh, Uh, your test book of first chapter economics. So, for reference, you can refer NCERT test book. Thank you.